Welcome to C3 Kids and Tots Online, where we're learning about the king, the snake and the promise. Now, do you remember what's happened so far? Hmm. Ah, God the king made a good world, but the snake <gasps> tempted Adam and Eve to ignore God. But God made promises that he would bring his people back. And last week we saw that Jesus died. Oh no. But do you know why he did that? Well, he did it to take our messy hearts and give us clean hearts so we can be forgiven and friends with God. still really really sad that Jesus died isn't it? Death is really horrible isn't it? It takes us away from the people we love and makes us feel sad. But Jesus dying was not the end of the story. Do you remember we still need a king to make us friends with God? Well let's see what happens next in the Bible. After Jesus died, some of his friends laid his body in a big tomb. They sealed it shut with a large round stone. Soldiers guarded the tomb. Can you see them there? Guarding the tomb. Three days later, the earth shook. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven and pushed the stone away from the tomb. Then the angel sat on the stone. When the soldiers saw the angel, they fell to the ground. Oh, look at that falling to the ground. Mary was walking to the tomb with some of her friends. Can you see them walking there? They saw the angel who said, Do not be afraid. Jesus is not here. He is risen. Go and tell Peter and the other disciples that Jesus is alive. There's the angel telling them. Oh, Jesus is alive. On their way, the women saw Jesus. They fell on their knees and worshipped him. Jesus smiled and said, Go and tell the others that I will see them in Galilee. So Mary ran to tell the disciples. The disciples locked themselves in a small room. That was because they were afraid the leaders would send soldiers to arrest them. Suddenly, Jesus appeared to them. He's right there with them. He said, peace be with you. They thought he was a ghost. But Jesus said, touch my hands and my feet so you will know it is really me. The disciples cheered. Yay! They were very, very happy. To see Jesus again. Wowzer! Jesus did not stay dead. God raised him to life again to be our king because he beat death. He can be the king we need forever. This is how God brings his people back to himself after sin came into the world when Adam and Eve ate the fruit they shouldn't have. Jesus is our super saviour because he smashed sin and crushed death. I really, really enjoyed singing super saviour with John a few weeks ago and I really enjoyed doing my cool superhero moves. <laughs> So let's sing it again. Now we know that Jesus smashed and crushed death forever. So I would like you to help me with some superhero actions in this song. You might do something like this, maybe a hand on the hip, fist to the sky, looking noble and thoughtful, like you just sniffed something really interesting. 
Or maybe you could do a zoomy one. Or maybe it just look really strong. What's it gonna be? Right. Oh, there's something missing. Before we can sing this song, I'm gonna need my guitar. So, when I nod my head, you clap your hands, and it will appear with your superhero powers. Are you ready? One, two, three, now! Yay! Thank you very much! Oh, and thank you so much for putting a superhero cape on my guitar. That is so thoughtful of you. Are you ready with those superhero actions? We're going to sing this song about how Jesus is the very best superhero. Ready? It goes like this. Superhero poses at the ready. Smell something really interesting. Go. Who can save the day? Our sins away. Who can rescue us with mighty power? Super Savior, the rescue. Super Savior, mighty to save. Look, look, here comes Jesus up, up out of the grave. Super Savior, to the rescue. Super Savior, mighty to save. Death Crusher, Sin Smasher, Sin Smasher, who's the mighty Super Savior, Jesus, he's a Death Crusher, Death Crusher, Sin Smasher, Sin Smasher, who's the mighty Super Savior, Jesus, save the day, take our sins away. Here you go. Super Savior to the rescue. Super Savior, mighty to save. Look, look, here comes Jesus up, up, out of the grave. Super Savior to the rescue. Super Savior, mighty to save. Look, look, here comes Jesus up, up, out of the grave. He's a death crusher. Sin Smasher, who's the mighty Super Savior, Jesus, he's a Death Crusher, Death Crusher, Sin Smasher, the Sin Smasher, who's the mighty Super Savior, Jesus, Super Savior, that Jesus rose from the dead. So the cross is empty and he's our king now. So you'll have something like this and you'll see there's some masking tape cross on it. All you gotta do is colour it in however you want to do it. So here we've got one that was made earlier. We've got some uh, watercolours, we've got some felt tapes, we've got some crayons, we've got some pastels. Okay, and all you gotta do when you've done that Slowly, carefully, peel off the masking tape. Hey! Oh, can you see? The cross is empty. 
I hope you enjoy making these crafts and please send them in so we can see them next week. Let's pray together now, thanking God for Jesus rising from the dead. Let's pray. Father God, thank you that you died for us on the cross and took our dirty hearts and made them clean. But thank you, Lord, that you rose from the dead to be the super saviour we need to rescue us from death. Thank you that you are the king we need and we can trust in you. Amen. Have a great week, C3 Kids and Tots. See you on Sunday. Bye.